Cool. So it is now time to take some pre-workout. So we're about to head to the gym. And it's also leg day, so we do need to get a little bit cracked out of our minds. Why am I, it's so much water. Why did I do that? <laughs> I just got distracted while talking. I don't need that much. So HGLT came out with like a lot of testing packets. Uh, I decided to get that because I wanted to try some ones instead of actually ordering them all separately. Uh, so this is one of them, uh, Pink Candy Blast. And I really want something sweet right now because cutting is a uh, bitch. There we are, look at that smoke. Um, and then we've also got this stuff from HGF Liquid Glycerol 100%. That's what it smell like. It smells like chemicals. That's perfect. Exactly what I want. There we are. I'm like drinking a milkshake. Oh, I forgot my salt. No. Water plus sodium plus carbohydrates equals really good for muscles. Come on. Oh god. So just half a teaspoon, something like that. The pre-workout tasted nice. I don't want to. I don't want to do this right now. Oh. That is disgusting. Who the? Well, if there's anything that needs to wake me up, that was it. Let's head off. So yeah, we're heading off now, and I just wanted a quick little discussion on how the cut's going. Uh, because I haven't cut in a while, and it's actually been really hard for me to get into the momentum of this cut. And it hasn't always been easy. Uh, for my competition, it was quite easy, because I had something that I was driving towards. For this one, it's nothing. I just want to look good. Um, and also, stop being a fat fuck. Pretty much. Uh, but after looking at that, uh, that little posing video that I just filmed today... Holy shit, I'm looking pretty good. Looking pretty full, still. Looking lean, even though I'm really heavy still compared to, like the heaviest I was on any of my bolts previously was like 79, 78 kilos. And I was fat like, and like, you know, fully carved up and everything. I am 82 and I'm looking a lot better a lot sharper, stronger than ever still, and on very minimal calories, 200 carbs a day. Like, I'm eating like 1800 calories, something like that, which is, it's nothing. But yeah, it is a quite an aggressive cut because I had so much carbs in me to start with. Um, so yeah, it's finally starting to go good. I've been pretty consistent, still a little bit loose and still a little bit just like, yeah, you know, like, I'll have a small, tiny little cheat here and there, uh, but ultimately being pretty consistent, which is, yeah, showing off, finally. Yeah, my hardest thing that I've actually been uh, struggling with is my cardio and my expenditure on getting my steps up. That's been the hardest. Eating hasn't been too hard, uh, but it's just like getting used to doing some a walk before and after the workout and just doing more walk, walking throughout the day, getting my steps up. Stop being so lazy, especially like editing so much. It's pretty hard just to sit down and it, it's been pretty hard to get used to. But yeah, we're back at it and yeah, been staying consistent to about 15,000 steps a day and yeah, slowly losing the weight. Uh, so yeah, glad to see that it's actually working. Uh, I think that's it. So yeah, we're going to head off to the gym and we're going to do a nice raw leg workout for you guys following Eddie's split because he's the one on prep and you know, we're following his stuff. So yeah. Trying not to shit myself. Ah, <sighs> oh, bitch. You know what? I haven't gone to failure on deadlifts in a while. And that looks like pretty complete failure to me. So. 
My most hated exercise was both split squats and hyperextensions, and I swore to never do them again until Eddie has them in his program, or whenever I do leg days with him, I have to do them. So, we're doing Bulgarian split squats. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. I can do more because my form started to was a little off, so I'm stopping there for the first set. Eight RPE, something along those lines. Not complete. Uh, form was a little bit off. Technique. really hoping that doesn't fall. It's magnetic, so bottle lock approved. <laughs> so this machine is uh, a weird one. It, uh, like it like rocks you back. So we're gonna go. <gasps> okay, we're going that one. It's free. Yes. This one doesn't rock. Uh, okay. Okay, cool. It's got it on the right weight as well. Okay. Now that we're on a sensible machine, we can actually train hard. The other one was not the play. So I'm glad I'm in this one. Leg extensions is one of those things which you're either feeling it or you're not feeling it. Today, we're not feeling it. Now I don't want any of you fuckers in the comments telling me that I'm creasing my Jordans. None of you, okay? Ah, my ass is like sticking to the pad. <sighs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna half ass these. My calves are big enough anyway. Excuses, I know.
imagine my little toilet roll casually being parked next to Supra. Cool, so we just wrapped up a leg workout. We, um, we're at the gym for what, four hours? Uh, that's just what happens when you're filming content, I guess. So, well, to be fair, the leg workout took about an hour and a half to two itself, and then the rest was all content. No, what, how much did it take? Two and a half. Two and a half for the leg workout? Yeah, I, I, um, I had it on Train Heroic, and it said two and a half from when we started. To be fair, we were just dilly-dallying around, so. Lollygagging. Lollygagging. Uh, so yeah, we finished up, finally. It is nearly dark at this point, and yeah, we're off. Film some extra stuff for Eddie. However, today's video is finished. Um, and honestly, I like how this style went. You know, yet to see the finished product because I have to edit it. But as far as the filming goes, I really liked it. It was smooth, it was fun, and uh, I like this gym better than the one that's close to me. So, is it worth an hour drive to get here? Of course. What is this car doing? Come on, buddy. See ya.